Hey, welcome back to the Incense Shops. And this is Pick a Cherry from last night. You can see the difference in the color of the, compared to the cherry vanilla that we're mixing from Wild Berry brand. These have to dry a little bit more, however. Oh, by the way, trying some molds too. So the mold isn't gonna have a back because those are the clay molds that they use with the air dry clay. See that? It's just a different shape. It's for the burn. It's not for, you know, anything special. I like doing things in different shapes with the incense. This is my idea. So this is just a tester piece that, it was the end of extracting, we ran the, Used the extractor last night to get these nice and straight. Plus, I hand rolled a few. I think we're just going to keep using the... Oh, is that nice? Well, that's the pick of cherry. Yeah, that came out right. Okay, so let's try the cherry vanilla finally. See one here. Sorry. This should be dry. I... Yeah, it's kind of almost dry so you're going to notice that they'll break apart right away if they're not totally dry but sometimes you can still test them hold up this is cherry vanilla now <clears throat> get that going a little bit sometimes it will stink at the very beginning when you first light them you know hold on Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's, hmm. That's different from the, oh, it's very different from the, the pick of cherry. Oh, my word. It does have a vanilla scent to it with cherry. Like a creamy, you know, the strawberry scent when you have a strawberry shortcake? It's kind of like that mix. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to make a new name for it because I can't use their name of uh, Cherry Vanilla. That's their brand. So we're allowed to mix their brand with my mixes and call it something else. So you understand any kind of legal battles there won't be. <laughs> now why are these... See, this is... Maybe that's the actual color it's going to be when it's totally dry. Hmm. Yeah, those are totally dry. I could feel the difference in the weight of this one's a little heavier, believe it or not, because of the dampness, the water in it yet. But this is totally dry. So that was just a, <laughs> it freaked me out there a minute. Why the, the tone of the difference when um, these didn't do that? So anyway, I'm gonna have to distinguish a name for this scent because it is good and you guys are going to like it all right get back to you guys later so far these are five inch and seven inch i don't believe we're going to keep making seven inch unless it's a custom order because it uses a lot of dough all right and we are limited right now for the next three months of purchasing the actual mako powder is backed up i only uh, i tried to order five at a time and i uh, ended up with two so that wasn't so great everybody must be trying new things <laughs> if i can't get mako powder that's pretty bad because uh you know i just started this stuff in 2017 and it has not been totally perfected yet and that's what we keep going through is off and on, trying to perfect it, going back and forth, trying different things. So this is why you probably will never see this in a store. My custom made incense is word of mouth and paid for, the way it says on the dollar bill, for any debt, public and private. So we pay in cash, cash app, or you said money order, or cashier's check. 
for custom orders. It's 610-333-7115, Catasauqua, PA. Usually a custom order could take up to three weeks. However, we're perfecting our time limits. Have a good, safe day.